Ringing up like an 86, 85. I was like, okay, I got a clad dime. I was like, where's a quarter? Because that's quarter signal on the max. Okay. Look what's down there. You know, it's not very often when you come across some sidewalk tear outs when you have your metal detector on you. Well, that happened to me recently. Yeah. So I was out doing some curb strips. I seen some city workers tearing up some old brick sidewalks from the early 1900s. I was like, hey, that's my type of uh, detecting right there. So it was like opening up a freaking time capsule. Everything I dug was like, a blast from the past so you guys will really like this video i find one thing that i've been wanting to find for a very long time so tune in and god bless oh yeah this is like four hunts i put together all in one video roll that beautiful dirt footage Closer guys, 1955 Weedy. I just pulled out. Getting closer. All right. Come on, be an Indian. That's gonna be a wheat. Nineteen forty-one. All right, just pulled another wheat, guys. Nineteen forty-eight. It's only a matter of time before I get that silver. There's no way people's been in here digging with all these wheats. It is a wheat fest. I haven't even moved very far from where I found the other ones along the sidewalk. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, so all the wheats were found right through there, so it's only a matter of time before I get silver, right? Here's an 8485. That's got to be silver. Got to be silver. It's right there, whatever it is. No, well, that's got some green patina to it. Maybe it's an Indian. There's no way that was putting off an 8485. A Zinkin? Are you serious? There's got to be a quarter in here with it. Now there's inking. Something else. Probably another zinking. Little coin spill here. Let's see if this was a wheat. Let's see if we can get a weedy on this one. Yep, that one's a wheat. All right, that's crazy. Two memorials and a wheat in one hole. Look at the date on that in a second. Anything else? Well, I think that's it. I had some more hits right there. We'll see what that is. That's why it's ringing so high because all them coins are in there, guys. All right. Oh, that one was a 1950, guys. 1950 wheat cent. All right. All right, popped out another weedy right here. 
and there's something else in there. Nineteen forty five. There's a nineteen forty two D. Man, just a wheat fest through here. I can't even make it all the way down because I keep getting wheats. You know where the wheats are, the silver's at. It's only a matter of time. All right. Dang, it was hitting like a solid 80, 81. And I got another spill, guys. This plopped out first or something else right there. Let's see if it's uh, memorials or wheats. And got a lot of crust on Wheat. Wow. <laughs> Freaking Weedy Fest. That's what I'm gonna name this video. Weedy Fest. All right, I'm not gonna look at the date on that yet. Let's see. This is, and see if there's anything else in here and some silver. I think that was just a memorial. That's crazy, I got memorials in with weeds. I think that's a memorial. No, that is an older wheat. I think it says 1936. Yeah, it's a 1936 D. Great Depression era wheat. Yep. Let's see if there's silver in here. Oh yeah, there's something else. There's something else in here. What are you? Oh, that one's a zinkin. Wow. All right. Let's see the other one over here. Oh, see the date on it. I'm not going to waste time trying to get the dates off all these. And the wheat scent, guys, 1952. Wheat fest continues. Where's the silver at? Move down to a different spot on the sidewalk strip. All right. Heck yeah, I got some sort of pendant here. Looks old. Looking silver. Yes. <laughs> Those are gonna have like an 82. I thought it was another zincan or a wheat. That's looking silver, but it's a religious pendant. Awesome. I don't know, it's a little crusty right there. Hope it's not aluminum. But if so, that's still cool. It's got some writing on it. Sweet. It's a quarter. <laughs> Shout out to Middle Technique NYC. Quarter, quarter, quarter. Well, guys, I got tired of Wheat Fest, so moved on to some older ground in front of some old 1800s houses, and it paid off. You didn't hit penny. So like 1891 or 1881. 1891. I will take that any day. Alright, we're on the board now. Alright guys, I just had a 52 signal. I thought it was another pool tab. 
has seen this shiny thing roll out. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's, yep. I didn't want to say it. And I'm still not saying it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? It looks like it, don't it? I don't know. Every time I call it, it's not, it's not gold. <laughs> Every time I call it, it's not gold, but that's looking like it. That looks like a toe ring. A toe ring or a pinky ring. Oh my goodness. Gold, baby. Come on. That has all the detail of it right there. Got some pretty turquoise little stones in it. Little ornate design going on. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean that up. Well, Weedy Fest continues, guys. Weedy Fest. That one's crusty. Hey guys, it's a different day, different curb strip, different town. Found some zincing so far on this. My first looks like relic. Don't know how old it is really. But it's lead and rang up a 72 73 on the AT Max. Don't know what it is. If you do, let me know in the comments. Thanks. Hey guys, finally, I moved towns and locations, and I discovered that there's a sidewalk strip, sidewalk tear out. Like, are you kidding me? On an old road where there's old houses, a sidewalk tear out, and they're doing it all down the road, guys. This is my first target that's good. And this is an old pocket watch right here. Trying to be careful. I'll have to clean that up better after a while. I got a lot of digging to do. Oh yeah, look at that. It was gold plated. I didn't find nothing earlier, guys. No way, guys. It's part of an old change purse. And that rang up a 52. Now let's see if there's some coins in there. Man, there's got to be some coins up in here. All right, I'll turn it back on if I get any signals with the detector in here. Wow. Never found one of those, even broke. All right. <laughs> guys I'm moving along this sidewalk strip here I did some of them tear outs that purse piece I didn't find any more coins in there um, there's a few more tear outs to do but I seen this old home that looked like it was 1900 or 1890s and there was a strip in front of it and it was abandoned so I did it and I swung up right close to this tree and if any other detectors were here before me, um, they missed this target. I think this is silver. I think that's a Merc. Yep. Heck yeah, baby. Mercalicious. 
All right, so here we got here. I'm gonna spray that murk. I'm gonna spray that little murk. Time to bust out the Ski Soaker 1000, baby. Boom! <laughs> spray her down. Nineteen forty five. Let's see about the uh, mint mark here. Let's see if we got a mint mark. Sorry if I wasn't focused on that. I can't see. I'll look at it when I get home. All right, cool guys. Gotta get moving. Guys, I got back on the sidewalk tear outs. Look at that. Old houses everywhere. Just give you a little quick glimpse of the house in front of me there. Look what's in the hole. It's not real, but hey, it's a ring. It's ringing up about an 8081 on the max. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Getting first pickings over here on these tear outs today. Not too many coins though. I haven't got one coin out of the tear outs now on that sidewalk strip. The curb strip, I found that Merc in front of that old house, but no coins in the tear out today. There should be a marking in that somewhere. All right, moving along. Just popped out this little key here in the sidewalk tear out. Not a skeleton key, but it's a relic. All right, moving on. You guys are not gonna believe this. I was just about done detecting. It started raining on me. So I stopped and then the rain quit. I come over here to this other tear out. Look at that. Oh, it's a little bouncy now. But it was right on top, guys. If you have an AT Max, what is that, guys? That reading. I already know what it is, so I looked down and seen it, but it was right on top. Sorry, there's like cars driving by and everything. But it's an Indian head penny. Look at that. Indian head penny, guys. Sorry, that car is driving right by while I was talking. Indian head penny, look at that. Look at that impression. Look at that impression. It was right on top. Man, I love tear outs. That's awesome. That just is the cherry on top for the end of my hunt it's raining it could start pouring down any time and that was right on top but it's the only coin i found out of the tear outs today um i found that merc in the curb strip oh it's an old one too 83 88 sorry that wasn't focused 88 1888 Yeah, buddy. It's officially an episode. That's what they say, right? 88 Indian on the tear out today. Woo! Yeah, AT Max. Ringing in the low 70s. That's Indian head penny signal all day. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I will take that. Yes. I've never hit a tear out, guys, like this. 
Like I've never found a tear out driving along with my metal detector on me. I just happened to be going curb stripping today and found these tear outs fresh. I mean, look, they just filled that with concrete. They're just getting to these water pipes, I guess. So I hit it at the right time. All right, let's see what else we can get. What's up everybody? So this is a third day of curb stripping. I decided to uh, get back out so I can add a little more footage to my next video. I just dug this lead toy and it looks like an Indian. It was ringing up like an 81, 82, kind of a scratchy tone. Kind of creepy, but uh, neat. That looks like an Indian. All right, where are the coins at? Let's find them. Hey guys, I just had like a slam in 86, 87 and this popped out, but I know that's not what was making all that racket. This looks like an Indian. It's got to be. Um, I know there's got to be something else up in there. Let's see what this is first. Oh, that's a weedy. 1919. 1919 wheat. Okay. But when I put the pin pointer back in there, I didn't hear nothing else. Oh, there's something in there, unless that was my digger. That was my digger. All right, if there's anything else, I'll turn it back on. Guys, I just dug this clad dime out of this hole. It was ringing up like an 86, 85. I was like, okay, I got a clad dime. I was like, where's a quarter? Because that's quarter signal on the max, okay? Look what's down there. <laughs> it's a freaking skeleton key. My first skeleton key that's brass. I've found the iron one before, but that's beautiful. And it probably goes to this house right here. Oh my gosh, that's amazing, guys. Look at that. All right, I will definitely take that. I found that 1919 wheat, like right there. Um, and a few other items, that dime, that little metal piece. So I don't think this has been dug, guys. Might find some silver in here. All right, gotta get after it. Awesome, wow. Love it. Can you imagine how many times the door was open with this sucker and who had it and who lost it and how did it get lost? I'd say maybe getting out of their horse and buggy or something. It just fell out, that's my guess. But how cool is that, a freaking skeleton key, my first brass one, it's ornate. Um, I'm so happy with this, guys, so yeah. I know I hyped the video up for this, but hey, I was hyped up to find this. So if you've never found one, then you know how I feel. And if you have found one, then you know how I feel as well. So boom, skeleton key, baby. <laughs> wow. No way this has been dug, all these big signals right here, right by the sidewalk. Ha <laughs> ha. Ski searcher out and about, curb stripping it, baby. That's what's up. I like that. I like the skeleton key better, but that's so cool. All right, where are the coins at? Just snag me another weedy, I think. Yep. 19. 
sweet. Where's the silver? It's got to be here, guys. Just pulled out my second pocket knife in a month. This one's pretty old, too. Cool. Bone handle there. All right, cool. What's up, guys? So you see the two objects right here. I dug this out first. It was a real scratchy tone hitting in the 80s, about 81, 82. So I pulled that out first, some sort of little valve, says USA. And then this sucker was in there with it. This is why you always dig the iffy signals. Pretty sure it's an Indian. Pretty sure I've seen the one cent on the back. It's crusty. Oh yeah, it's got the old green patina on it. But I just talked to the landowners and they said that this curb strip has been dug a bunch and I didn't find nothing at first, but I just found that pocket knife and now I'm pretty sure I got me an Indian. Let me clean that off and I'll get back with you. Bust out the toothpick. It's never dug out, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. Yeah, 1904. Indian hit penny. Ha ha! They was like, yeah, it's been hit a lot. That goes to show you guys. When it has been hit a lot, all them weird signals you don't want to dig, dig them. Because that pocket knife was a weird signal and so was this. Had something else in the hole with it. Alright, 